In this chapter, we are going to go through the Azure Container Registry. So what are we going to learn? What is the Azure Container Registry service? And what are the steps we're going to perform in Azure to see the implementation? So the Azure Container Registry service is a managed private Docker registry service. So remember in the prior chapters, when we basically work with Docker containers on our Linux virtual machine, when we wanted to basically use an image, we use it from Docker Hub. So remember the Docker engine on the Linux virtual machine would get an image from Docker Hub and then run it as a container. But let's say that a company wants to have their own private Docker registry service. They can actually go ahead and use the Azure Container Registry service. So this service can be used to store private Docker container images. You can also integrate the service with the Azure Kubernetes service. So the Azure Kubernetes service is a managed orchestration service for your Docker containers. You can also enable something known as Content Trust. So this adds an additional level of security when it comes to the Docker registry service. Now, what are the steps we're going to perform in our lab? So first, we're going to go ahead and create an instance of Azure Container Registry. We are then going to go ahead and install the Azure command line interface on our Linux virtual machine. So remember, on the Linux virtual machine, we have an image. So in the prior chapter, we had gone ahead and containerized our own Docker image. So we had our .NET Core application running as a Docker container. So now we're going to go ahead and push that image onto the Azure Container Registry. So let's go ahead on to Azure. Let's see how we can implement our lab. So here we are in Azure. So let's go ahead on to all resources and let's add a new resource. So I'm going to search for Container Registry. Let me hit on Create. Let me choose the subscription and the resource group. Let me give a name for the registry. I'll leave the location as it is. I'll enable the admin user. I'll leave the SKU as standard. I won't add any encryption at this point in time. I'll go on to review and create. And then I'll go ahead and create the container registry. Now, while the deployment is going ahead, let's go ahead and now install the Azure command line interface on our Linux virtual machine. So first, I'm going to execute the commands so that we could set up the right repository to go ahead and download the Azure command line interface. I'll then go ahead and update the package index. And finally, I'll go ahead and install the Azure command line interface. Now, if I go back on to Azure, so I can see that I have my Azure container registry in place. Let me go ahead on to the resource. Now, if I go on to repositories, over here, you can see I have no repository as of yet. Now, once the installation of the Azure command line interface is done, we're going to do an AZ login. So we're going to log in with our account admin. So I'm going to go on to this URL and then enter this code to authenticate. So I'm going to go ahead on to the URL and I'll enter the code. Let me click on next. It then ask me to choose an account. So I'll go ahead and do that. It will then give me a notification that I've now logged into the Azure command line interface. If I go back onto my Linux virtual machine, just after a few moments, you will be authenticated onto your account. Let me clear the screen. Now I'm going to issue the command to log into the registry. So over here, I'm going to give the registry name. Once done, I'm going to go ahead and tag my existing image, which I have. So remember, this is the image which contains our Dockerized .NET Core application. Over here, we have to ensure that we tag it with the name of our registry.azurecr.io. 
once we do that we're going to issue the command to go ahead and push this particular image onto our azure container registry so now it's going ahead and basically ensuring that the image is copied onto our container registry once the push is complete if i go on to the repositories if i click on refresh you can now see our vizlab app image Right, so this marks the end of this chapter, wherein we have looked at the Azure Container Registry. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.